Now we are going to look on uh, the issue of what we call change in demand and change in quantity demand. Uh, starting with change in demand. What is change in demand? We say change in demand. This is an increase or decrease in quantity demanded due to change in uh, in other factors affecting demand while the price is constant. So change in demand, kubadilika kwa demand ni nini? Ni pale ambapo inatokea kuna kupanda au kushuka kwa uhitaji eh, wa bidhaa lakini kwa sababu ya change in factors affecting demand kama vile income, test in fashion, eh, weather na vitu tunaofanana na hivi lakini price ya ile bidhaa usika inakuwa constant. Hiki kitu kikitokea kinasababisha demand ibadilike. Kwa uhitaji unabadilika. Kwa mfano mtu alikuwa na anaweza kuingiza 2020 kwa mwezi, akaanza kuingiza 80. Uhitaji wake wa vitu vile lazima badilike. That is change in demand. Lakini mchoro wake ni kama huo hapa kwamba mtu alipokuwa labda income tumechukua kwa money income imebadilika. Alipokuwa anaingiza mshahara 2000 labda hapa kwenye Q0 haikuwa na 2000 ameanza sasa kuingiza 5000 demand yake imeongezeka moja kwa moja bei iko constant lakini uhitaji wake umeongezeka badilika kwa uhitaji wake ndio kunaitwa change in demand una uhitaji wake unabadilika wakati bei yako iko vile vile ni kwa sababu tu wewe umeongezeka umeongeza kipato ndio inaitwa change in demand lakini kitu kingine ni change in quantity demanded change in quantity demanded maana yake ni now this occurs when only price changes pale ambapo bei inabadilika lakini other factors affecting demand na remain constant kwa pale ambapo unakana mabadiliko kwenye bei ya bidhaa usika kitu kinachobadilika kinachotokea ni change in quantity demanded price inabadilika lakini other factors kama vile income uh, still test speak gani is it constant bei is it vile vile so you know okay any change in quantity demanded uh graph yake ni kama hiyo hapo price inabadilika badilika lakini factors huko chini factors ziko constant vile vile kwa hiyo demand inakuwa constant lakini kuna kama mabadiliko kwenye quantity kwa sababu bei imekipanda maana yake mtu yote vile atakapo nunua bidhaa kidogo bei ilipokuwa ndogo watu walikuwa wanaweza kuchukua bidhaa kubwa mpaka kwenye Q4 price 1 Q4 the uh, price ime change kabisa sasa ime increase mpaka kwenye P4 imekuwa watu wana uwezo kuchukua Q1 kwa hiyo ndio change in quantity demand sasa baada ya kuona tunaangalia change in demand na change in quantity demand kuangalia kipengele cha mwisho ambacho ni si cha mwisho actually wati tuangalie individual demand na market demand what are these individual demand tunasema individual demand refers to the quantity demanded by a single person at different price in the period of time. Kwa hiyo hiki ni kiwango cha bidhaa ambazo mtu binafsi kazihitaji kwa bei husika na kwa muda fulani ndio inaitwa individual demand. Lakini market demand ni ile summation ya individual demands zote. Ukijumlisha uhitaji wa mtu fulani kujumlisha uhitaji wa mtu fulani labda lusekelo atakuwa kujumlisha na uhitaji wa Richard na mtu mwingine ile toto inaitwa market demand that is all about uh, all about all about uh, market demand so market demand kama tuliona maana yake sasa tuangalie eh, mifano ya market demand kama hivi individual demand na market demand. Individual demand ni kama vile A. A ana uhitaji wa wa, wa 50, B ana uhitaji wa 30. Hiyo ni individual. C 80, D 40, E 20. Sasa ukijumlisha toto hii hiyo 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 50, hiyo hiyo 50 jumlisha 30 jumlisha hiyo hapo. Hii toto yake 220 inaitwa market demand kwa individual demand ni mtu mmoja mmoja lakini jumla yake inaitwa market demand 
baada ya hapo tunahamia uh, kipengele kingine ambacho sasa ni function function ya mmoja mmoja so, demand function ni kama hivi hapa demand function ya ya huyu mtu wa kwanza a ni hapa kwa demand is equal to 20 minus 3 plus about the price of b sasa alafu na hii ya pili ukizijulisha kwa pamoja inakuwa inaitwa quantity quantity demand in kuni ni market quantity demand hiyo market quantity demand kwa kujumlisha hizi hapo kwa 20 jumlisha 40 jumlisha 30 toto yake inaitwa market quantity demand lakini ambayo ni function baada ya kuona hizo sasa tuamie kipengele kingine ambacho ni elasticity of demand what is it ni kitu gani elasticity of demand maana yake kwanza ujue elasticity kama elasticity ni nini kabla hujua elasticity of demand elasticity is the measure of extent of relationship between two related variables uhusiano uliopo kati ya vitu viwili ambavyo vinaelekeana ndio inaitwa elasticity au tunasema refers to responsiveness to one variable due to change of the other variable kwa mfano mabadiliko ya income na uhitaji wa bidhaa fulani ndio inaitwa elasticity sasa elasticity of demand ni elasticity of demand to say is a measure of responsiveness in the quantity demanded due to the changes in factors affecting demand the factors affecting demand tunasema ni kama vile price income test and fashion and things of the kind sasa uhusiano uliopo kati ya hiyo vitu na uhitaji wa bidhaa fulani ndio inaitwa elasticity of demand kwa ina respond vipi kwa mfano uh, mtu ame ame income yake ime increase je uhitaji wake wa vitu ume respond vipi ndio inaitwa elasticity of demand now types of elasticity of demand we have various types of elasticity demand such as price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand we have close elasticity of demand now unachotakiwa kujua hapa the meaning of one after another inafanyaje kazi kwa mfano price elasticity of demand hii ni maana yake income elasticity of demand nini maana yake as well as close elasticity of demand Uh, starting with price elasticity of demand what is it price elasticity of demand we say is a measure of responsiveness in quantity demand due to change in price kwa hiyo price elasticity ni nini ni ile mabadiliko ya quantity demand kutokana na mabadiliko ya bei ndio inaitwa price elasticity of demand mabadiliko ya uhitaji wa bidhaa fulani kwa sababu tu ya mabadiliko ya bei ndio inaitwa price elasticity of demand in other words tunasema percentage change in quantity or percentage change in price ndio inaitwa price elasticity of demand kanuni yake ni kama hii price elasticity of demand is equal to quantity 1 minus or change in quantity over change in price times 100 ndio inaitwa price elasticity so change in quantity unaipata kwa kuchukua quantity 2 minus quantity 1 over quantity 1 times 100 na change in price unachukua change unachukua price 2 minus price 1 over price 1 times 100 unapata change in hiyo change in price then tapata hii hapa baada kupata hiyo so kanuni ni hii hapa sasa change in quantity of over change in quantity one times hii hapo change it uh, times price one over change in price then kanuni yako utatakiwa uweke kwenye mabano kwa sababu tai times na, na, na negative for the purpose ya kutoa kwa sababu kwa sababu anza kwenye negative sasa elasticity hakuna price ambayo ni negative na elasticity itakiji ile nini negative 
Kwa hivyo atakufanya hapo atakufanya hapo ni ku times na negative ikufuta negative kupata positive answer. Hiyo ni price elasticity. Pano wake ni kama huo hapo sitaufanya. Then naonea kitengele kingine ambacho ni terms used in price elasticity of demand na greater than 1 na tuna less than 1 hizo ni baadhi ya terms ambazo zinatumika kwenye price elasticity tuna equal to 1 equal to 0 uh, <coughs> kwa kwanza kabisa na ya kwanza ambayo ni greater than 1 ukipata answer kwenye calculation yako ni greater than 1 ina maana gani haina itweje when the answer is greater than 1 it is called elastic. That means a small change in price leads to greater change in quantity demand. Kwa mabadiliko kidogo kwenye price, ya meretea mabadiliko makubwa kwenye uitaji, na ndio maa yunaita greater than one. Lakini, ukupata less than one, inaitua aje, na nini maana haki? Kwa less than one, that means, inaitua inelastic. Inelastic maana haki ni, kwa mba, Greater change in price causes a very slight change in quantity. Kukuna slight change kwenye quantity. Mabadiliko ya bei ni makubwa lakini mabadiliko ya uhitaji ni madogo sana. Ndio inaitwa inelastic. Haijavutika. Kwa hiyo uhitaji haujavutika. Haujavutika pamoja na kwamba bei imechange sana. Na bidhaa ambazo huwa zinaweza kuleta majibu ya namna hii ni kama vile medicine food kwa unaweza uka, uka, uka increase price ya chakula lakini uhitaji wake ukabaki vile vile au ukabadilika kidogo sana au dawa kwa hiyo italeta inelastic inaitwa inelastic kitu kingine ni equal to 1 pale ambapo unapata kwenye umecalculate price ya elasticity yako umepata sawa sawa na moja Jibu sasana moja. Ina ito aji. Kwanza it is called a unitary. It is unitary. Manake nini? Manake proportionate change in price causes the proportionate change in quantity demand. Kwa hiyo, mabadiliko ya bei ya naleta mabadiliko sawa sawa. Ya nini? Ya quantity. Kwa hiyo, kwa mfano, price ni meongezeka kwa asilimi ya kumi basi na quantity yenyewe ita decrease kwa asilimia 10 hiyo inakuwa equal to 1 ndio maana yake equal to 0 maana yake nini equal to 0 it is called perfect in elastic maana yake ni perfect in elastic tunasema change in price causes no change in quantity demand mmebadilisha bei lakini hakuna mabadiliko katika uhitaji that is the meaning of equal to 0 pale ambapo umecalculate price ya kisa yako umecalculate sawa sawa na 0 maana yake umechange price lakini okay. hakuna mabadiliko yote hiyo ndio inaitwa perfect in elastic na last day, last thing kwenye hii inaitwa equal to infinity equal to infinity maana yake nini au inaitwaje equal to infinity it is called the perfect elastic ni pale ambapo different quantities are purchased with zero change in price kama kuna mabadiliko kwenye demand wakati bei ipo constant and bei haijabadilika lakini kumetokea mabadiliko katika uhitaji inaitwa equal to infinity kwa jibu jibu ile kwa undefined kama ambapo unapata jibu undefined when you calculate price elasticity inaitwa inaitwa perfect elastic Bada kwamba tumeona sasa tumeona point elasticity au price elasticity tuangalie mini point price elasticity mtu gani hicho hii ni maana yake mini point iko katikati katika demand yako demand curve kwa mfano hii hapa pale ambapo inapotokea sasa kwa inapotokea kwamba uko kwenye quantity 1 ni hapa then Quantity 2 ni hapa. Sasa katikati ya quantity 1 na quantity 2 hapa 
inaitwa mili point price elasticity. Kwa hiyo calculate vipi? Mili point price elasticity tunasema is equal to 